Hi everybody, I'm Robert from Northline Express and today we're going to explain why you would want to line your chimney with a chimney liner. And we've got a fireplace here, uh, so we're going to use that as an example. Um, but quite often, uh, if you've had a chimney fire in a masonry chimney, the inside of your chimney may become damaged. Or perhaps you've got a fireplace like this that's smoking really bad and you can use a chimney liner to reline your chimney and size the opening of your fireplace properly to your chimney size. Because quite often people that make uh, a masonry fireplace don't really size it properly and you end up with a lot of smoke. And that's pretty evident with this fireplace here. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke on the stones here. The doors are covered with soot and uh, it's really an unusable fireplace at this point because it smokes so bad we can't use it. So what we're going to do is install a, a fireplace insert and that's another reason why you would want a chimney liner. Uh, it's state law and uh, nationwide law actually now that you have to run a liner from the back of a fireplace insert all the way to the top of your chimney. It used to be in the old days where you would just take a fireplace insert and put a facing around it and insulate the back of that and shove it in a fireplace opening and you'd call it good. The problem with that was that the smoke would just naturally come out of the, out of the top of the insert and the chimney would draw that smoke up. But you end up with a lot of creosote buildup right in the smoke shelf area and because it's not sized properly for an insert it could have too much of a draft or not enough of a draft and again cause smoking issues. Uh, the other big concern really is creosote buildup. Now because you've got a, uh, all your smoke is just going up into a cool masonry chimney, that creosote builds on the walls of the chimney, gets, you know, cl clogs that up and you can end up with a fire. So uh, they've made it a uh, a national law that you have to use a chimney liner and it's really much better uh, for the homeowner as well because you know you've got a direct connection here it's easier to clean the chimney uh, you just jump on the top and and brush your uh, liner down and it ends up into your insert and you're done so you're gonna really improve your draft you're gonna take uh, a, a chimney that may not be safe and now it's gonna be safe with a liner and uh, you're going to get a, uh, a much better burning fireplace or appliance. So in our next videos, we're going to talk about uh, what type of chimney liner you should buy and how to install a chimney liner. So see us for our next series of videos. Thanks for watching.